Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and especially Stratomatic baseball fans. Today, got another Stratomatic card and dice game for you. It's going to be another Negro League team matchup between the Detroit Stars and the New York Cubans. The uh, pitcher for the Detroit Stars will be Bill Holland, and starting for the New York Cubans will be Schoolboy Taylor. And so I will uh, we'll go over the lineups. Uh, let me see if I can uh, get the lineups into the into the screen here for you. So there's the lineup for the Detroit Stars. It's going to be uh, Hewitt, Warfield, Lyons, Hill, um, Wesley, Riggins, another Hill, Charlie Hill, and then Petway, and then Holland, of course, batting ninth. For the uh, New York Cubans, you've got Spearman, um, Salazar, Dixon, Ohms, DeHigo, Sant Sant Santanella, Correa, Duncan, and Taylor. And Taylor being the pitcher. Oh, wait a minute. Where is Ta Who is Taylor? Nope, Taylor is not... Oh, yeah, schoolboy Taylor, yeah. All right, so that's, uh, we've got the lineups. And the first batter for the Detroit Stars is going to be Joe Hewitt. And that will be a 5-7, and he is a left-handed batter. And so against a left-handed uh, batter, 5-7 is a ground ball, second base, X. The second baseman for the, the Cubans is um, Santanella, and he is a 3-E-10. So we will look at the chart, and uh, let's see here. Uh, it was a roll of 15, so we'll check the second base, 15, 3 is a ground ball C. So that is one away, 4 to 3. And the next batter is Frank Warfield. Frank Warfield gets a 2-7 against a right-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a line out to third base. And the uh, third batter for the Detroit Stars is Jimmy Lyons. And he gets a 211, and that's going to be a ground ball first base C, and he is out. So the Detroit Stars come away with no runs in the first. And in the bottom of the first, with the uh, Cubans coming up, you've got Spillo Spearman. Spearman. And he gets a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five, six, five against a right-handed, or uh, against a left-handed pitcher, or a left-handed batter, because Spearman is a left-handed batter. That is a strikeout. So that is a strikeout for Holland, first strikeout of the game. Next batter is Lazaro Salazar. And he gets a 4-6. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a walk. So there's the first base runner of the game is Salazar getting a walk. And Holland issuing the walk. One man on, one man out. And Rap Dixon is up. And he gets a 6-9. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a double to left field. 
and running is a uh, he is a running 13 I'm gonna you know what I'm just gonna let, let him stop at third there's only one out so they've got two runners in scoring position Ohms is up this is Alejandro Ohms and he gets a 4-4 and he is a left-handed batter and that is going to be a fly ball center field X the center fielder is a 1 and an E7 we'll look at the chart that's an 18 18 and 1 is a fly ball C and a fly ball C I think doesn't a fly ball C advance the runners let's see fly ball C batter is out no runners hold fly ball A would have advanced them so uh, runners hold and uh, that's <coughs> that was uh, an F8 and that brings up Martin DeHigo And he gets a 4-8, and that is going to be a triple 1-11. to 11. Wait a minute, he's a righty versus a righty. That is going to be a triple 1-13, to 13. so it is actually a double, but it scores both runners. That's a hit allowed by Holland, and two runs. And the Cubans take a 2-0 lead. On the DeHigo double, and that brings up Anastasio Santella, Santanella. And he gets a 311 against a right handed batter, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So he knocks in a run, and that's three runs, all right here, all in the first inning. And Kuko. Korea is the batter for the Cubans. And he gets a 4-7. He is a righty. And that's a strikeout. So finally, Holland puts an end to the to the carnage. But not before three runs come in for the Cubans as we go to the top of the second inning. <coughs> First up is Pete Hill. Pete Hill gets a 2-5 against a right-handed pitcher, and that is going to be a triple right there. He got a leadoff triple, and so the Cubans, or the uh, Stars, are trying to get right back into this game immediately with a leadoff triple, and Edgar Wesley comes up. And that is a 4-6 against a uh, left-handed batter, and that's going to be a walk. So Edgar Wesley is aboard, and they are, yeah, they're they're doing a serious comeback right now. They're not even playing around. They're not waiting, and Bill Riggins comes out. Bill Riggins with runners at the corners and no out. And he gets a 3-9 against a right-handed batter, and that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in one run. So that single docks in Pete Hill, and it's another hit. It's um, yeah, another hit and a run. The first run allowed by Schoolboy Taylor, and Charlie Hill is now the batter, and he gets a one eight against a right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop A, which is a double play, two runs, or I mean one run scores, but there are two outs. And that did force in the uh, um, that did force in a, the second run, and it is now three to two, and Bruce Petway is up, and he gets a two five, and that is going to be a strikeout, <coughs> strikeout for Taylor, and he ends his own little version of carnage here in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. <laughs> With the Detroit Stars losing 3-2 to two to the New York Cubans. And the Cubans batting with Frank Duncan up. The catcher. 
and he gets a two seven against a right hander is a fly ball B left field so that is going to be uh, F7 and that brings up the pitcher uh, the pitcher schoolboy Taylor with one down and he gets a 110 that's a strikeout and Splo Spearman Spearman <laughs> I, keep, I keep calling him Spearman <coughs> and he gets a 3-9 nine, nine against a right hander and that's going to be a ground ball C so that, or, and let's see, what is it? Nine, three, nine. That's a ground ball second base C. So four to three. He goes out. No runs there for the Cubans. We go to the top of the third inning. And that brings up their pitcher, uh, Bill Holland. And he gets a five, eight. And he is a right-handed batter. 5-8 is a fly, wait, is a pop-out to the shortstop. Pop-out six, one away here in the third. Joe Hewitt. Hewitt gets a 4-9, left-handed batter. So 4-9 is going to be a double. One out double for Hewitt. That's the third hit allowed by Schoolboy Taylor. And that brings Frank Warfield to the plate. He gets a 5-10. He is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for the uh, Cubans is a three so let's take a look at the chart uh, 20 and three at shortstop and that's going to be a ground ball a so the runner doesn't go anywhere to away and uh it's a six to three first I think that's the is that the no that's the second out that is the second out and a man at second two down and Jimmy Lyons out. and he gets a 6-6 six, six left-handed batter and that's going to be a strikeout so Lyons strikes out Taylor with decay yeah we go to the bottom of the third, and the batter is Lazaro Salazar for the Cubans. And he gets a 210, and that is going to be a walk. Holland walking his second man of the game. Rap Dixon gets a 5-3, and he is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball right field X, the right fielder for the uh, Stars is a 3. That is a 17. I'm going to guess it's going to be an out. And it is a 17 is actually a fly ball a so that'll move the runner to second with one down and that brings up ohms one down man at second ohms up at the plate Alejandro ohms and he gets a 1-6 against a right-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a double. Double to the left field, scores the run, and he is on second. That 
That's the fourth run allowed by Holland, and now it is a 4-2 lead by the um, New York Cubans with Martin DeHigo up. And DeHigo knocked in a run the last time he was up. 4-9 against a righty is going to be a double. And so that's another double. DeHigo is 2-2, two for two, two doubles, two RBIs. He's a pretty bad nightmare for for uh, Bill Holland. And now it's five to two with Santan, Sant, Santanella up. And he gets a two five against a right-handed uh, pitcher and that's going to be a ground ball second base C. That moves the runner over to third and that is a four to three. A man just 90 feet away now with Kuko um, Korea up. And he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Holland ends that really quickly. Not Actually, not really quickly, but it is 5-2, top of the fourth. The stars are coming up, and they're going to have Pete Hill as the batter. He started... A little mini rally for them in the uh, second inning. Let's see if he can do something here, too. Um, that is a 6-9. So he is a left-handed batter against Schoolboy Row, And that is going to be an out. It's a fly ball to right field for Pete Hill. Mark at F9, and Wesley comes up. And he gets a 4-6, left-handed batter, and that's going to be a walk. Schoolboy Rowe walks him. Let's see if the Stars can try to climb back into this right now with Bill Riggins up. Bill Riggins gets a 2-5, and that's going to be a ground ball first base B. So now he is on first base on the fielder's choice, and that brings up Charlie Hill. Charlie Hill gets a 3-6 against a right-hander. That's going to be a fly ball center field. And no runs come in for them. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's five to two. They are going to give a little bit of leash here to Bill Holland and see if he can try to get through this inning at the very least. Frank Duncan is the first batter he'll face. That is a five seven for a righty on righty. And that's gonna be a ground ball second base. Holland's second baseman is a two. And that is a 17. I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is. It's a ground ball A, 4-3. to three. It doesn't matter what kind of ground ball. It's an out. Um, and that brings up the, the pitcher, schoolboy Taylor. And he gets a 6-3. A righty-on-righty 6-3 is um, ground ball to the pitcher X. And he is a uh, 3. And that is a 17. Going to guess that that's an out as well. Well, I gotta go on here. So he is a 17 or a 3 E8. So an E8 gets a, let's see, I gotta roll the two dice again. That's an 11. And that is an E1, so he makes an error. So the pitcher gets a board on an E1. And we have to mark down that uh, the 
air goes to Holland, and Holland really does not want to be in this game. He did not come to play today. And that brings up Spilo Spearman with one down and one on. And he gets a 4-10. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And so now Spearman is the man at first base replacing the pitcher. And that brings Lazar, what is it? L Lazaro Salazar up. Two down, man at first. Six, seven for a lefty. And that's going to be an out. It is a ground ball first base. So he does get out of the inning. Holland does get out of the inning, although he did make an error. <coughs> but we'll go to the top of the fifth. It's five to two with Detroit. Losing 5-2 to two to the Cubans and batting right now with Bruce Petway. And he gets a 1-8 um, against a right-hander, and that's going to be a single. So Petway with the single. And now Holland is up. They're going to pinch hit for Holland. There is no doubt right here that pinch hitting. They're going to pinch hit with Fred Long. No outs. Man at first. Fred Long up. He is a right-handed batter. And that is a 4-8. And that is going to be a triple. <coughs> A triple that drives in a run. So a big key pinch hit here by Long that they absolutely had to have. And they got. And schoolboy Taylor giving up the third run that he's allowed. Joe Hewitt is now up. Man 90 feet away, only no outs. Just only no outs. And that is a 4-8 for a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a, another triple. A triple, a back-to-back -back triples drive in the, uh, the second run of this inning. And that brings up Frank Warfield. Man 90 feet away again. No outs yet. And that is a 2-7, and a 2-7 against a right-hander is going to be, in this case, a line out to third base. So that's the first out. One down. Jimmy Lyons is up. He gets a 1-3, and that is going to be a, um, let's see, a ballpark single. And a ballpark single for... This uh, ballpark is, for a left-handed batter, it's one to eight. And it is going to be a single. So, Lions with a single that knocks in the third run this inning. I believe we got a tie game, don't we? Let's see, two, no we don't, wait, yes we do, okay, we do. And Pete Hill is up, mark down the RBI. Only one out, and that's a 6-3 for a left-handed batter, 6-3. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 3 and that is a 12. Take a look at the pitcher. Nope, we're looking at the, uh, we're going down into the uh, ratings, the E ratings. He is a seven and we'll roll the dice and take a look. That is a seven. 
and that is going to be a ground ball A. And so that is a double play, a 1-4-3 if you want to say that. And that also is the final out, but they get the Detroit Stars come up with three runs to tie the game here in the fifth. And of course now we are going to need a new pitcher. Bill Holland has is going to be relieved of his duties. And let's see, he was most mostly, I would say, a starter, so we're not going to bring him in. He's going to be relieved by Gunboat Thompson, just because I like that name. We have to replace him in the batting order. We have to take Long, who had that key pinch hit. We'll have to take him out. He is a batter two, batting pitcher two. So put that in. And now I think we are ready to go with Rap Dixon, I believe, is the batter for the Cubans. Trying to regain the lead here after they just gave it up. And he gets a 4-3, and that is going, he is a right-handed batter. That is going to be a fly ball right field X. The right fielder is a 3. That is a 9, so I don't know. That could be bad. Um, no, we're going into E rating, so he is a 3, E5. And so we will roll the dice. That's a seven, and that will be a fly ball B. So I think it's uh, F9, maybe. I don't know. So that brings to the plate Alejandro Holmes. And he gets a 4-10. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. Gunboat with his first strikeout of the game. And Martin DeHigo up. Martin DeHigo having a great game. Two for two with two RBIs on two doubles. And he gets a 3-7 against a right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a ground ball, third base B. So it is a quick inning there. The Cubans get nothing, and we go to the top of the sixth inning. Edgar Wesley comes up. Schoolboy Taylor still out there despite having given up five runs. 6-4 for a lefty. <coughs> And that is going to be a ground ball third base. The third baseman for the, um, the for the Cubans is a three. That is Martin DeHigo. And that's an 18. Eighteen and three, and it's a ground ball B. So that is one out. Yep. Five to three for Wesley. And Bill Riggins up. And it's two eight um, against a righty, and that's gonna be a round ball second. That's four to three. Now all of a sudden nobody wants to get any runs. And Charlie Hill. Charlie Hill gets a six ten. He is against a right-handed batter. And that is going to be an out. It is a line out to shortstop. Line out six, no runs for the Stars. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the Cubans coming up against the relief pitcher Gunboat Thompson, Anastasio Santanella, first time facing him. 310 for a righty against a righty, and that is a double. He just rips a double. So we got a runner at uh, second with no outs. 
Gunboat giving up a key hit there. And Kuko Korea comes up. Gets a 211. That is a ground ball shortstop. A, one away. The runner doesn't go anywhere. Frank Duncan is up. They probably should have sacrificed him over, but they didn't. It is a 2-7 against a righty. That's going to be a fly ball. B and a fly ball to uh, left field. So that's a, an F7. And at a very inopportune time, time schoolboy Taylor comes up and they will pinch hit for him. It's not like he's pitched uh, <coughs> great this game. So they're going to try to get a, uh, a pinch hitter out there for him. And the pinch hitter is going to be Furman Valdez. So we'll write him in. At least this is a better game than the other Negro League game I had. If you watched that, that was a complete blowout. And Valdez gets a 210 against a right handed. Uh, pitcher, and that's going to be a fly ball right field B. And that is the third out. F9 for him. And we will have a new pitcher. As no runs come in for the Cubans, we go to the top of the seventh. And the new pitcher for the Cubans. <coughs> will be Yo-Yo Diaz. So Yo-Yo Diaz is going to be pitching against these guys now. And he is a pitching batter four. So we're going to get the four card out for him. But right now, Bruce Petway is the batter for the Stars. And he gets a 3-8 um, against a right-handed batter. That's going to be a strikeout. Petway strikes out. And that is going to be a strikeout for Yo-Yo Diaz. first battery faces and this is um, gunboat Thompson and he is going to bat and that is a 5-5 five, five, right-handed batter and that is going to be a ground ball third base And up steps Joe Hewitt. And Joe Hewitt gets 4-7. He is a left-handed batter. Um, and that is going to be a line out to second base. And no runs come in in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Cubans up. Spearman is the batter. He gets a 110, and that is going to be a single. Spearman with a leadoff hit in the seventh. Or wait a minute. Yeah. 
Gunboat Thompson allowing the hit. Lazaro, Lazaro Salazar is up. He gets a 3-9 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball. Second base B, so fielder's choice. <coughs> Rap Dixon gets a 3-7. That's going to be a walk. So there's another man on. There's two men on with only one out. Gunboat Thompson with his first walk of the game since entering the game in the uh, sixth inning, I believe. And that brings up Alejandro Owens. He gets a 5-9. He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. So there's two down. And Martin DeHigo up, the big man. The man who, the man of the hour is two for three, two doubles, two RBIs, and he gets a four five, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X, the shortstop for the um, Stars is Hewitt, and he is a three, that's an 11. We'll take a look at the chart. That's going to be down on the. That's going to be down in the uh, advanced version chart. So let's see. Um, he is an error twenty six. Wow. And that's an, a roll of eight. And that's going to be an e one. So a key error right there. Error by the shortstop allows DeHigo to get on. One base error. Everybody moves up one. And uh, let's see. That was an error for Hewitt. Second error committed by the Stars. It loads the bases with two out. And... Anastasio Santanella up. And he gets 310 against a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a double. He rips a double and knocks in two runs. They're not even going to tempt fate with that one. They're just going to let it be. So a hit allowed by Gunboat Thompson. Two run score. And Korea is up. Puko Korea. Still with two down here. And that is a 6-11 righty on righty. And that is going to be a single to center field. And again, they're not even going to. I mean, they've got, you know, they don't need to. They're putting a penny in the uh, merry-go-round. And they're getting their money's worth. Let's see. Did he score on that? No, he, no. Well, you know what? We're, we're going to try to send him because I already have him etched in. So it's going to be a 1-11 to 11 trying to run on the right fielder's arm. And the right fielder's arm is a negative 2, so it's a 1-9. to nine. We're going to try it. And he does make it. He gets in right under the tag. So he did score. And, uh, yep. And then that brings up Frank Duncan. So that is three runs. And Frank Duncan up, four, six. He's a righty on righty. And that's a walk. So Gunboat just can't get him out here now. And that brings up the pitcher, and the pitcher is just going to bat 3-5, and he gets a strikeout.
strike out for gunboat but not before he allowed three more runs to score we go to the top of the eighth with the stars now down by three runs again as they were at one other point earlier in the game and warfield is the batter against yo-yo diaz here in the eighth inning yeah and that is a one nine that is going to be a um that's going to be a single so warfield with a hit off yo-yo let's see if yo-yo can hold them instead of giving the game away like gunboat tried to do jimmy um, lyons is up 311 against a righty that is a walk first two guys have reached pete hill is the batter and he gets a five six and that is going to be a fly ball center field b one away wait no that was a ground ball a sorry sorry my bad it's a ground ball a two outs runner at third and that brings up wesley and he gets a six nine he is a lefty and that is going to be a double and scores one run gets one of the runs back at least And Bill Riggins is now the batter. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a switch hitter, so he would be batting left. <coughs> and that is going to be a walk. And Yo-Yo Diaz trying to give it back just like Gunboat did. Charlie Hill is now up. Charlie Hill gets a 1-9, um, righty on righty, and that is a ground ball, second base C, but that is the third out, I believe, yep. But they get one run, they get one of the runs back there in the top of the eighth, and uh, the Cubans are up, and the Stars are going to make a pitching change, gunboat is out. He really was not that impressive, didn't pitch all that well. So they're going to take him out, and they're going to put in Chick Harper. Chick Harper is the new pitcher, and uh, we will put him in. Write him in right there. Let's see. And who is up? The Cubans are up. Bottom of the eighth. Spearman is the batter. Yeah. That's what we got. 2-2. Two, two. And that's going to be a line out first base max, but the max is just the one. Line out three. Lazardo Salazar gets a six seven. He is a left handed batter. That is going to be a line out to first base. So two line outs to the first baseman to lead off the eight. Brings Rap Dixon to the plate <coughs> with two down and nobody on. And a 5'11", righty on righty, ground ball first base, X. He could make all three plays this inning. Um, the first baseman is a 4, though, and that's a 7. So, let's see. And it is going, we're going to have to go to the advanced section of the chart. Um, 
and it's a 20 he's an e20 and eight is an e1 so predictably he makes an error um, after those first two outs he was just not feeling it and uh, so that is going to be an error or wait a minute nope over here an error for Wesley and that's their third error third error committed by the stars and Ohms is the batter And he gets a 1-8, and it's righty on righty. That's a single double asterisk. Runs, runners are at the corners. All of a sudden, it's trouble all over again. Harper giving up the single. And Mahigo, here he is again, 4-8. He is a righty, righty on righty, and that's a ground ball third base. So they come close to getting another run, but they don't. And so the Detroit Stars are batting here in the top of the ninth inning. They are down by two runs. The score is 3-5-6 to 3-5-6. Yep. So they're down by two runs, top of the ninth. And um, they're going to keep Yo-Yo out there. He's pitched well. And Bruce Petway is the batter. And he gets a 2-8, and that's going <coughs> to be a ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3, to three, and that, the pitcher Holland is up. They're going to pinch hit for Holland for sure. Or I mean uh, the, the pitcher um, Harper. Harper is up. They don't need a home run, they need a base hit, so they need a guy that can get on base. Not a lot of those guys, though. Nope, they don't have much of that, so they're going to pinch hit Deerfoot more. With already one down. And he gets a 1 7, and that's going to be a strikeout for Deerfoot Moore. Yo Yo Diaz with the strikeout, that's two down. And up steps Joe Hewitt. Could be the last out of the game here. He gets a 2 3, and that against a right handed batter. Yep. As <coughs> a ground ball to the first baseman. And that's your final score with the, um, let's see, uh, Detroit Stars 6 and the New York Cubans 8. And uh, the winning pitcher, I believe, is, uh, it might be Diaz. Diaz may actually be the winning pitcher in this. But anyway... That is the end of the game with the uh, Cubans beating the Stars 8-6. That was a much better game than the first one I did uh, between t the two Negro League teams in the Diamond Gems collection. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.